Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us at Sacred Paths Yoga. My name is Lacey. For today's class, I'll be guiding you in a gentle practice to release the chest and the shoulders, a place where tension often accumulates in the body. So let's move and breathe our way into more spaciousness and freedom of body and mind. Let's begin. You can find your way to a comfortable seated position, and just exploring what that means for you today. Could be that you elevate your seat on some cushions as I have done, or perhaps placing blocks beneath the knees for a little more support. And wherever you are, just making those gentle adjustments so that your seat feels steady and comfortable and grounded and relaxed. Perhaps you find a little more length up the spine, reaching the crown of the head up towards the sky and then softening the shoulders down the back. You can invite the eyes to close down here if that feels comfortable for you. We always begin by noticing our breath. This is our anchor to the present moment. It's a place we can always return to, to slow down the churnings of the mind, to return to our place of center. So simply witnessing your breath, traveling in through the nose and out through the nose. Gently guide your breath into a place of balance. Now imagine on your inhale, not only expanding your lungs, but inviting that spaciousness across the chest, spreading the collarbones, opening up there. And then exhaling, releasing the breath out. Not only the breath, but any tension or thoughts attached to it. Let's take five nourishing cycles like this. Big breath in, expanding, opening, receiving. Full breath out, letting go, deep release. And on your own, just breathing, calming, and grounding into your space. And already you may begin to feel like you've released something you've been carrying along with you, something that happened earlier in your day. So we can begin our practice with a clean slate. It's simply breath and body. Let's unite the two together with some movement. On your next inhale, we'll bring the arms all the way up to the sky. Interlace the fingers, flip the palms up. And gently exhale, leaning over to your right. Okay, so not going so far that you lose your breath. Keep the breath expanding along the side body. We stay equally rooted in our seat as we Press out through the palms, stretching into our left side. We'll take another breath in and out. Inhale, coming back up through center. Exhale, gently leaning over to the left. Breath by breath. You can peel the right shoulder back, gently lift your gaze up, 
Keep that energetic engagement pressing out through the palms. We'll take another cycle in and out. Inhale, coming back up through center, push the palms up towards the sky, and then exhale, bring the hands to the back of the head. Let the elbows wrap towards the cheekbones and lower the chin towards the chest. So head, neck, and shoulders are heavy here. And soften as we breathe. It's okay if there's some rounding in the upper back. Invite the breath to expand there into the back body. Last exhalation. Inhale, gently come back up through center. Reach the arms all the way up to the sky, releasing your fingers. And then exhale, fold forward. Hands come to the earth. If you'd like, you can remove your cushions if you're sitting on some. We'll come into our seated forward fold. So gently walking the hands out. Slowly releasing the upper body down to the earth. We move slowly, mindfully in our warm ups, never forcing. Just using the breath to guide us deeper. So, the deeper we can inhale, the more spaciousness we'll create in our bodies. The deeper and more fully we can exhale, we'll find more accumulated tension to let go of. Take your last breath out. Inhale, slowly walk the hands in towards the shins. Roll the spine up. And we'll switch the crossings of the legs. Cross the other leg in front. In your next inhale, reach the arms all the way up. And exhale, hinging from the hips. Release the hands to the earth and gently guide yourself into your seated forward fold to wherever is available. And notice if your sitting bones or your hips are lifting up off the earth. If they are, press down firmly with the palms, sending the hips back into the mat. The stake rounded there. And then invite the head, neck, and shoulders to soften. One more breath in, full release of the exhale. And then inhale, slowly walk the hands in towards the shins, roll the spine up, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, circle the hands behind you, plant the palms down, fingertips forward. Leaning back onto the palms, gently lift the heart up, inhale. We'll stay here for the exhale. Find that expansive breath, filling your lungs, opening across your chest, releasing tension there. Good, and then gently exhale, release. So go ahead and roll over your knees. We'll come to tabletop, finding all fours, facing the top of your mat. We'll set ourselves up for cat-cow, so linking breath and movement as one with an inhale. Arch the spine, look up, lift your gaze, lift your tailbone. Exhale, round the spine, push the earth away from you, bring the chin to the chest. And again, inhale, lengthen, stretch the front of the body. Exhale, expanding the back body, tuck the tailbone. And again, inhale, open, scoop the heart through the shoulders, shoulders, 
pinch together and exhale rounding releasing the breath good couple more times like that following your breath and any organic movements that are coming through to find more freedom and spaciousness the spine across the chest the shoulders it's a couple breaths to explore as well as to balance it's making sure whatever movements you do on one side you do on the other and then we'll return to a neutral tabletop all fours nice straight spine reach the crown of the head forward the tailbone back belly gently engaged now with an inhale, reach the right arm all the way up to the sky. We'll stay here for the exhale. So pressing down firmly in the left hand, energizing the right fingertips up towards the sky. Feel a nice opening across your chest. Maybe the shoulders start to stack. Take one more breath in. And then exhale, we'll thread the needle. Bring the right arm through. Lower the right cheek to the earth. The left hand can stay here supporting this posture. The hips stay lifted, stacked over the knees, tops of the feet, and the shins press down. That's our foundation. So the more we can press down with our feet, more lightness will come as we lift the hips. And bringing that twist into the belly, feeling the right shoulder release as we apply the pressure downward. Let's take two more breaths in and out. Now press firmly down into the left hand. We'll take an inhale, unwind, reach the right arm all the way back up to the sky. And exhale, release, right hand to the earth, tabletop. Take an inhale, left arm reaches up to the sky. We'll stay here as we exhale. We can gaze up towards the left fingertips, stretching fingertip to fingertip. One more breath in. Exhale, thread the needle, bring the left arm through, left cheek to the earth. And adjusting here to find a shape that feels supported and stable. So we find that in our foundation, pressing down into the right hand, pressing down through the tops of the feet and shins. A little engagement of the belly to support our lift up of our hips. Now invite the breath into the left shoulder. Each exhale, releasing the tension you may find accumulated there. We'll take two more breaths. Pressing down in the right hand on your inhale, peel back open, left fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, find tabletop. We'll take a breath in and out here, coming back to neutral, spreading the fingers nice and wide. Feel the spine come back to neutral, back to center. And now we'll walk our hands forward, coming into a melting heart pose or sometimes called puppy pose. So slowly start to walk the hands forward to the top of your mat and gently lower the chest down to the earth. Now the hips stay stacked over the knees. We find that same rooting action, pressing the tops of the feet down, the shins down, and you can bring your chin to the earth or the forehead to the earth, whatever is more comfortable for your neck. And if this is still too much, you can also bring your chest onto a blanket or a cushion. Now continue reaching out through the fingertips. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Press the palms down into the earth. 
Now breathe. Imagine as this pose suggests melting your heart down towards the earth. Feel a deep release for the shoulders, across the chest, as well as energetically around the heart space. Any barriers that we've placed there. Another breath in and out. On your inhale, we'll slowly slither our way through into Sphinx Pose. So for Sphinx Pose, we're coming onto the belly, keeping the forearms as they are, parallel to each other. Fingers spread nice and wide, palms pressing down. So extend the legs back behind us. The feet can be hip distance apart if that feels more spacious for your lower back. And we can have the shoulders stacking over the elbows. If this feels like too much, you can walk the arms forward a little bit, coming onto the lower ribs for a more supported variation. Okay, wherever you are, Imagine the tailbone lengthening, the heart lifting up, collarbones spreading, shoulders relaxing down the back, and an energetic lift up through the crown of the head. So really a beautiful tool in this shape is our breath. So it might be helpful to close the eyes here, just feeling how the breath affects our whole state of being. Not only creating space in the physical body, but releasing Fully, our thoughts, our tensions, our worries are anchored to what's actually present in this now moment. If we're feeling any anxieties or discomforts around this pose, our breath too can help soothe that. So we'll take a couple more cycles in. Breathing in to the lungs, opening the chest, lifting the heart, exhaling, softening where you can. And last one like that, breathe in and out. As you release the breath, slowly release the pose coming down onto your right cheek. Reach the arms out to your sides as an extension of the shoulders, palms facing down. From here, we'll slowly start to lift the left leg up. Bend the left knee, roll onto the right hip, and place the ball of the left foot behind the right leg. So really a nice deep stretch here for the right shoulder. Palms are facing down, helping to energize as well, bring stability into this stretch. So keep the energy there through the palms. The left knee slowly starting to point up towards the sky, maybe. And stay with your breath. We'll hold just a couple more cycles. Last inhale, exhale, gently release. We'll slowly come back to center, extend both legs, join them back together. Do the same thing on the other side, but first maybe a little counter stretch could be just to wiggle your hips a little side to side, let your spine resettle. Now we'll bring the left cheek to the earth. Carefully lifting the right leg up and the right knee. We'll roll onto the left hip, 
Bring the ball of the right foot down behind the left leg. So keep reaching through the fingertips. Breathing, softening where you can across the chest, feeling it in the front of the left shoulder, as well as a nice little spinal twist. Really nice. Take one more breath in here. And exhale, carefully release. And roll back onto your belly. And bring the gaze back to neutral. And give your hips a little wiggle. Let the lower back soften. Okay, from here, we'll bring our hands um, near to the rib cage. Fingers spread nice and wide. Elbows squeezing in, pointing straight up towards the sky. Bring your feet hip distance or maybe even a little wider if that feels more spacious for you. Moving into Cobra Pose. So on your inhale, gently press into the palms to lift the heart up. Maybe you come to a low Cobra, maybe a little bit higher, perhaps all the way up if you feel you can do so safely. We'll stay here for as we exhale. And take a couple breaths wherever we are. Again, using that inhale to not only fill the lungs, but expand across the chest, the fronts of the shoulders, the heart space. We use the exhale to let go of accumulated tension. Letting it gently release. Take one more breath in together. Exhale. Push the hips back to the heels for child's pose. You can keep the knees wide, big toes touching. Or if you'd like a little more support for your spine after that back bend, I like to bring my knees together. Again, you can gently move your hips a little side to side. It's releasing that stretch, coming into this counter shape. Shape that feels supported, nourishing. And even here, we can work to release that tension that's built up in our upper body. So imagine the shoulders again melting down, softening, shoulder blades spreading nice and wide. Just letting them go completely. And take another breath in and out. On your inhale, spread through your fingers, plant the palms into the earth, shift forward into tabletop. Curl your toes under, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. So it's our first and only downward dog in today's practice. So we'll spend just about 10 breaths here to warm it up, to activate the body, release any tension in the backs of the legs. We can also give the head a couple shakes, feeling accumulated tension release there as well. I like to give my head some big shakes, even shaking out any lingering thoughts. Using your last few breaths in this pose to feel and move however feels good for you. Coming back to neutral. Breathe in deeply. Release it completely. On your inhale, shift forward into plank pose. Exhale, lower your knees, hips back to heels, child's pose. Breathe in and out. On your inhale, we'll slowly roll the spine up one vertebra at a time. Coming to sit back on our heels. 
from here, just shift your hips over to one side, swing your legs around, preparing for seated forward fold. Finding a nice, strong foundation here, legs extended or slightly bent, spine nice and tall, shoulders stacked over the hips. Breathe in, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, hinge from the hips, we'll fold forward. So this pose serves as a great reminder that our shoulders don't need to do any work. We can just let go of the tension there by doing nothing at all. Let the shoulders slide down the back, soften completely. And then we'll take the inhale to lengthen the spine, reach from the heart, chest open. Exhale, softening again. Just take five breaths like that. Breathing in, lengthening, inviting in space. Exhaling, releasing tension, releasing energy. And on your own. Last breath in, full breath out. On your inhale, come up with a flat back, gentle engagement of the core, reach the fingertips all the way up to the sky. Exhale, circle the hands behind you, plant the palms down, fingers forward if you can. Now bend the knees, bring the feet hip distance apart. From here, we'll come into altar pose or reverse tabletop. So preparing to press the feet down, the hands down. We'll inhale, lift the hips up. And we'll stay here as we exhale, gazing at the knees up towards the sky or all the way back. So imagine lifting the hips up to come in line with the knees and shoulders. This will deepen the expression and the release across the fronts of the shoulders. Another breath in together. And out. Inhale, maybe lift a little bit higher. And exhale, gently releasing slowly. Lower the hips close to the heels. So continue leaning back onto the palms. Elbows are bent. Gently release the knees over to the right side. And then we'll bring them over to the left side. Another time like that. So windshield wipering the legs. And here too, we're feeling that deep stretch for the fronts of the shoulders as we continue to lean back on the palms. Get the back to neutral. Hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Come to neutral and preparing to come down to our backs. So reach the fingertips forward, feet are hip distance apart. Take an inhale, engage your belly, exhale, slowly lower down. You can always come down to your elbows and support your journey down. Don't want to cause any unnecessary strain in our bodies. From here, We'll bring the right knee into the chest, interlace the hands around the shin, extend the left leg. Inhale, exhale, lower the right knee over to the left. Gentle supine twist, you can extend the right arm out, energizing through those fingertips to create more of a stretch across the chest. Gaze can be to the left or towards the right. Wherever you are, imagine melting the back of the heart towards the earth as we breathe into the belly.
Last full breath in. Complete exhale. Inhale, bring the right knee back into your chest. And exhale, release the right leg to meet the left. Take an inhale, bring the left knee into your chest. Squeeze it in. And then exhale, lower the left knee over to the right. Left arm can extend out from the shoulder, palm to the earth. Right hand can gently guide the left knee, perhaps closer to the earth as we deepen our expression here. Hmm. Deep breaths to soften, to release. We'll hold just a couple more cycles. Last exhale. Inhale, bring the left knee back into your chest. Give it one more squeeze in. Exhale, re extend the left leg to meet the right. We'll take one full body stretch. Inhale, arms overhead, point the toes. Exhale, bring the knees into your chest for one tight squeeze. And then making your way into Shavasana, our final pose. One of full deep release. All our work is done. So simply now lying back to receive. And resting your body comfortably so the physical body doesn't cause any distraction. Let it be supported and still. And then breathing your way through any internal distractions. Tuning into the rhythm of your breath so the mind too can become relaxed and still. Notice your breath coming back in and back out. As you breathe in again, send that energy all the way back down to your fingers and toes. Exhale. And slowly start to move your body, waking it back up. With your next in breath, stretch the arms overhead, point your toes, the lengthen, and then exhale, bring your knees into your chest. And take as much time as you need to transition 
can come onto one side first. Pausing there as long as you need to. And then making your way, whenever you're ready, back up to seated. Finding your way back to a comfortable seated position. And just a moment to pause, to process your experience. Hopefully feeling now a newfound sense of freedom in the chest and the shoulders, more spaciousness and openness for the breath, the heart, the mind. Whatever it is that you've released, leave it here. And step into the rest of our day with this new sense of freedom. Let's take a breath in together, reach the arms all the way up to the sky, join your palms. Exhale, bring your hands down in front of the heart. Gently bowing in towards the heart in gratitude for its guidance, its openness to receive. Thank you so much for your practice today. Namaste.